Hello dear students, I am Pratima. I welcome you all to this video. Today we will solve three case study questions from real numbers class 10 CBSC. So let us begin. So real numbers case study, case study one. To enhance the reading skill, to enhance the reading skill of grade 10 students, the school nominates you and two of your friends to set up a class library. Therefore, there are two sections, section A and section B in 10. There are 32 students in section A, 32, six students in section B. क्लास लाइब्रेरी है जहां ए सेक्शन में हम बनाएंगे ए सेक्शन में 32 स्टूडेंट्स है एंड बी सेक्शन में 36 स्टूडेंट्स है हम लाइब्रेरी बनाएंगे नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट इज द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ बुक्स व्हिच विल एक्वायर फॉर द क्लास लाइब्रेरी सो दैट दे आर कैन बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड इक्वली अमंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सेक्शन ए एंड सेक्शन बी हम कितना बुक्स लाइब्रेरी में रखेंगे व्हिच ए को में भी बांटा जाएगा बी में भी बांटा जा सकता है दैट मींस ए सेक्शन में 32 स्टूडेंट्स है और 36 स्टूडेंट्स है सो जो नंबर होगा वो दोनों से डिविजिबल होगा नाउ ऑप्शन दिया है 144 128 288 272 इसका मतलब है वी विल गेट एलसीएम ऑफ 32 and 36. 32, 36. We will take LCM. Nikale the common factor is 16, 18, 2, 8, and 9. Or common factor is not. So LCM is equal to 2 into 2 into 8 into 9. So it will be, it will be, it will multiply, it will be 288. So 288 is the answer of question number one. Now coming to question number two. If the product of two positive integer is equal to the product of H7, LCM is true, then LCM and LCM of 32 and 36 is Options 2, 4, 6, 8. So, this yeah, MCQ question is a good question. This is the first thing we have to do. This is the first thing we have to do. How do we have to do this? This common factor side. This is the So, H7 is equal to 2 into 2, that will be 4. या दूसरा तरीका है कि दोनों को प्रोडक्ट करके हम इसमें एलसीएम डिवाइड कर सकते हैं एलसीएम हम निकाल चुके हैं 288 ये भी फॉर है प्रोसेस नहीं दिया है एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चन है हम इजीली इससे भी इसको निकाल लेंगे इट विल बी फॉर सो व्हिच वन विल बी ट्रू बी विल बी ट्रू Question number three. Question number three is an easy question. What is it? 36 can be represented, expressed as a product of prime as 2 power 2, 3 power 2, 2 power 1, 3 power 3, 2 power 3, 3 power 1, 2 power 0, 3 power 0. So 36 ka prime factor hai. It will be 2, 18, 2, 9, 3. 3. That means how many 2's are there? 2. So it will be 2 to the power 2. How many 3's are there? 3. 3 to the power 2. So now you identify where is the answer. So it is simple. A is the answer. Question number 4. 7 into 11 multiplies 13 multiplies 15 plus 13 plus 15 is a prime number or a composite number. Neither prime nor composite, none of the above. So, prime number 
cannot be written as product. Composite number is written as product of primes. Neither prime nor composite is only one. So it is not applicable. So let us go for whether it will be prime or composite. So from this, I'll take 15 common. It will be left, it will be left 7 into 11 into 13. So that will be 91, 91 into 11. Eleven months of eleven carries one. So one thousand one plus. From here I'll take fifteen. Again I repeat. पहले वाले से मैंने fifteen को मिल लिया. तो बाकी रहा seven into eleven into thirteen, which is thousand one. And second से fifteen को मिल लिया. यहाँ एक one रहेगा. So this will be fifteen into one. So when it can be written in the product form, it is a composite number. So 4 is a composite number. Next is 5. P and Q are positive integers. So that P is equal to A B square and Q is equal to A square B where A and B are prime numbers. Then LCM of P and Q. So P is the options are A B, A square, B square, A Q, B square, A Q, B Q. P is equal to A B square means A into B into B. Q is equal to A square B means A into A into B. So what will be LCM? LCM will be first I'm taking the common thing A and B. And I'll write what is left here. B is left here. And what is left for Q it is A. So this will be A square B square. Or if you remember, just take the highest power L for LCM. So highest power of A and A square, I can take A square. And highest power of B square and B, I can take B square. So A square B square is the LCM. So B is answer. And if it would be HCF, then minimum power you'll take for HCF. So we finished case study one. Next, I'll go for case study two. You can study question, you have to read the question carefully because one question has the relation with other. A seminar is being conducted by an educational organization where the participants will be educator of different subjects. The number of participants in Hindi, English and mathematics are 60, 84 and 108 respectively. There are three subjects, Hindi, English, mathematics. In Hindi, there are 64, in English it is 84, in mathematics 108 respectively. Now coming to question, in each room, the same number of participants are to be seated in all of them being in the same subject. Hence, the maximum number of participants then can be accommodated in each room are 14, 12, 16, 18. We have to do, we have to find the maximum number of participants can be seated. That means the number is divisible by 60, 84, and 108. That means it is the HCF of the numbers. To get HCF, take common factor 2, 30, 242, 2, 5, 4. Then again, take 2. It will be 15, then 21, then 2, 27. Then go for 3, 5, 7, 9. So no more common factor. So it will be 2. HF is equal to 2 multiplies 2 multiplies 3. That will be 
10. So we are getting what is the number divisible by 60, 60 84 and 108. What will the maximum number? What is the bigger number? So it will be 2, 2, 3, that will be 12. So B is the answer. Question 2. Question 2 is what is the minimum number of rooms required during the event? How many minimum required? Minimum number of rooms. How many rooms will be needed? So for first group, there were 60 students. For second group, 84. Next is 108. So how many group numbers of room is needed? Options are 11, 31, 41, 21. How to get it? We have to divide with your HCF. Because when you are dividing 60 into groups, they needed five, five rooms because 60 division 12, that is five rooms. And when you are dividing 84, these people will need seven rooms. And another group is 108, they will need nine. So total will be five rooms, seven rooms, nine rooms. So it will be 21 rooms. Which one will be answered? D will be answered. Next. Next is LCM of your 60, 84 and 108 will be 3780, 3680, 4780, 4680. So we have already calculated here the HCF. So from HCF table only you can get the LCM. This one will be LCM will be this 12 multiplied by 5, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 9. So the answer will be 12 into 5 into 7 multiplies 9. So it will be 60 into 63. 0, 8 carries 1, 37. So 37, 3, 7, 8, 0 is the answer. So when all questions are related to each other, one question answer can be written in other. So don't find the LCM again. So from this table only you will get so 3780 question number three part A is the answer. Now to question four the product of HCF and LCM of 60, 80, 100. HCF we have already calculated that is 12. LCM we have calculated. 3, 7, 4, 8, 0. Now you will multiply this to get the answer. Answers are 55360, 35360, 45360, 4, 45360. 45360 is the answer. D is the answer. Question number five. 108 can be expressed as a product of the prime S. We have already done this type of question. So only you will get the prime vectors 2, 5, 4, 2, 27, 3, 9, 3, 3, how many twos are there? Two, two. How many threes are there? Three. So identify what is the answer. Three to the word three, sorry. So it will be, this is the answer. Study three. 
division is being conducted in your school. A mathematics exhibition is being conducted in your school and one of your friends is making a model of a factor tree. He has some difficulty and asks you to help to completing the quiz for audience. Observe this and find how the be in different questions. Well, as usual, there will be five questions. First is question number one. What will be the value of x? So it is very simple. x is just multiplication of your 5 and 2, 7, 8, 3. Because x is factorizes 5 and 2, 7, 8, 3. So multiply. 5 multiplies 2, 7, 8, 3 is equal to 5, 3 times 15 carries 1, 1, 35, 9, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 9, 5, 9, 1, 5. So B is the answer. You can pause the video, you can find yourself. It is not that difficult. Now coming to value of y. Y is also y multiplication 253 you are getting 2783 so y is equal to 2783 division 253 2783 division 253 i'll get first one 253 5 This is very simple. It will give me the answer. Option C is answer. Next is what is the value of Z? Eleven multiplied Z is equal to two fifty three, or Z is equal to two fifty three division eleven. It will be twenty three, I think. 23. So 23 is 22, B is 23. So 23 is the answer. So thank you for watching. Keep on watching. We'll go for some more case studies in different chapters. Thank you.